Hi, I'm Nada with Smoking Cigar Girl, and today I'll be reviewing the Arturo Fuente Cañones Natural Presidente. It's an 8.5 inch by 52 cigar with a Cameroon wrapper, Dominican binder, and a Dominican filler. The wrapper is a uh, very smooth looking, a uh, couple of prominent veins. The cigar has a very uh, strong cocoa scent. And the cold draw is uh, mostly earthy with a little bit of leather. The first few puffs uh, have a very earthy, uh, leathery flavor, and there's a little bit of wood on the finish. Uh, the draw is a little bit tight, but uh, I'm hoping that'll open up a little bit as I get further into the cigar. The flavors in the first third of the cigar haven't been very strong so far. Uh, the flavors in the front of the palate have been a very light earth and the finish has been a very faint woodsiness. Uh, the draw is still a little bit uh, tough, but it's opening up a little bit through the first third, and uh, the burn is mostly even so far. The second third of this cigar is continuing to be very mild in flavor. I'm getting a little bit of earthiness on the front of the palate, and every once in a while I get a little bit of sweetness mixed in as well and the finish ha is still woodsy but has picked up a cedary note as well. The flavors in the final third of the Arturo Fuente Cañones Natural Presidente have been a little bit stronger. Overall I'd say the cigar is a mild, maybe mild to medium bodied cigar and a mild, uh, mild strength cigar as well. The flavors in the front of the palate uh, continue to be earthy, but are a little bit richer than they were earlier on the c in the cigar, and the finish has been woodsy, but without that cedary note I was getting earlier. The cigar would go well uh, in the morning, uh, so it doesn't overpower your palate for the rest of the day, uh, maybe with a cup of coffee, or uh, any beverage that's really not uh, very strong flavored that's going to overpower the light flavors in the cigar. I uh, hope everybody had a wonderful holidays, and uh, if you'd like to see me review anything in the future, I'd love to hear from you, as well as if you have any comments on this review.